Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're doing another AP Physics 1 free response question. And this one is um, um, another pendulum question like we did last time. So I'll encourage you to pause the video here and try to do the problem and get as far as you can or complete it and then come back and see how I did the problem. All right. So a simple pendulum consists of a bob of mass 0 0.085 kilograms attached to a string of length 1.5 meters. The pendulum is raised to a point Q, which is 0 0.08 meters above the lowest position, and released so it oscillates with small amplitude between the points P and Q. On the figures below, draw a free body diagram showing labeling forces in each of the situations. Okay, once at point P, I have gravity, and then I have a tension in the string pulling it this way. I kind of exaggerated it's like a little more shallow. Okay? When it's motion at lowest position, I have force of gravity. Force of gravity is always straight down towards the center of the earth. And here the tension is going straight up. Okay? Now calculate the speed V of the bob at its lowest position. Now to do part B, I have to again when you do when you do all these things, since I know the highest point, this potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy. That's how a pendulum works. The highest point has the most potential energy and no kinetic energy because its velocity is zero. And at the bottom, it has all kinetic energy and it lost any of this potential energy here. So we have mgh is equal to one half mv squared. The m's cancel and I'm solving for v. So two gh equals v squared or square root of two gh equals v. So square root of 2 times 9.8 and what was h? It's this height difference 0 0.08. I get 1.252 meters per second. That's part b. Calculate the tension the string when the bob is passing through its lowest point position. Okay. Now, we kind of have to think about which direction things are going at this point. You might be tended to think that T is equal to FG, okay, because it's not accelerating. But it is accelerating. It is, its velocity, you see, it, it, no acceleration would be it's traveling in a straight line, it's a velocity, but its velocity is changing. That means it's subject to acceleration. And this path is part of a circular path, okay. Now, which way is the acceleration pointing? It's pointing upward, right? Because its velocity from, from here to the next point is going to be aiming up like this. So the acceleration must have added a vector like this to make it point the other way, like a different angle. So I'm going to say upward is my positive orientation because that's the direction of acceleration. You could say downward is positive, but um, then your acceleration would be negative because we always say it's positive centripetal acceleration going towards the center of rotation. So we would say that the net force is equal to T minus F force of gravity. That's simply T minus mg, right? And I know M, M and G. I don't know what T is. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And this has to equal MA. All right, and we decided that the M, the A that it's feeling is centripetal acceleration. So that's V squared over R. So t solving for t, I would get m v squared over r plus mg. Now, m I know is 0 0.085 kilograms. V, I have v, so, and I'm going to square it. So times 1.252 meters per second. Square that. Divided by r, the, that's the radius of the circular path. And that'd just be simply the length of the rope, 1.5 meters, plus 0 0.085 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. Point nine two two newtons. Pretty small. This thing's really light though, so. Okay. I hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.